An AC type of day. I, it felt colder in here today. It was so warm outside <laughs> yeah. that it kind of felt like we needed extra protection in here because of the <laughs> chill from our fabulous air conditioning. But today uh, was so warm, in fact, that we saw something and we're still seeing something that typically happens in the warmer months. The sea breeze kicking in and sliding toward the 281 corridor this afternoon. Mid 90s inland when it's hot. You get rising air, hot air goes up and to replace that the cooler air over the Gulf of Mexico starts to work in. So you get this flow set up and we call it the sea breeze. It's a pseudo cold front and that's what we saw on the radar today. The sea breeze is now through Corpus Christi, so it's kind of dry earlier. The humidity was down, but with that sea breeze now through the region, uh, the dew point has shot up. Temperatures are at 80 and we've got the southeast wind off the water at around 20 miles per hour. So the reason today was so warm had to do with the system well to our north. The front's going to stay north of here, but it was close enough to get us into some westerly winds, and that's why the temperature shot up into the middle 90s this afternoon. The next feature that will see impact our weather is going to slide down the western coast of the U.S. It won't be here till early next week. Meantime, a front the same one that's up near Dallas right now will slide south of Austin on Friday and then start to retreat to the north as this system moves in from the west. And this will be the one uh, that drops another front here early next week. It's not going to be a strong one, but it will deliver us, I think, some pretty nice weather come Monday, Tuesday. Spring fever going to continue mid to low 80s through the weekend. Overnight lows in the mid to upper 60s. That front comes in, doesn't do a whole lot to afternoon highs, but does drop overnight lows into the 50s both Monday and Tuesday, and we'll get a drop in humidity, a significant one, humid through the weekend and then dry to comfortable heading into Monday and Tuesday of next week. Overnight, again, watch out for the development of some patchy, thick fog in spots. We'll have a definite increase in cloud coverage mid 60s tomorrow morning, a little bit of afternoon sun, mid to low 80s in the afternoon, and then cloudier into Friday morning, upper 60s to around 70, and we'll stay mostly cloudy here Friday with highs up near 80 degrees. Tonight, 65 areas of fog develop overnight. Southeast wind 7 to 14 miles per hour. Morning fog disperses by about 9 tomorrow. Then it'll be partly to mostly cloudy. Highs in the low 80s with the east to southeast wind 7 to 14 miles per hour. On the water, it'll be better, not as windy, but still some light chop out there and the rip current risk will be elevated given the wave uh, height at about three to five feet. And then again, breezy, warm and humid, very steady in the weather department here through the weekend, a little breezier over the weekend. Then that front comes in, gives us a pair of sunny delights. I like that. Into next like Monday and like Tuesday. Em. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. When we come back.